got the beans in last week finished those uh, had a couple days I took off work and now I'm off today yet tomorrow and then back to work so we're to push might not be the best conditions but when you work in town and farm some days you just gotta push are good like behind us some spots over there not so good there's a spring running up there and it's definitely gonna give us heck this year as of right now I think my best option is to just do what I can without getting the tractor stuck and hope it dries out maybe I'll come back in in a week or so before the corn's up finish planting it but right now I think I'd just bury a tractor and then that would be another problem I don't really feel like dealing with because this is one of the bigger tractors, not in the area, but it's a big tractor. It takes a really big tractor to get it out. And up there, as wet it is, I'll sink it to the frame and then I'll be in trouble. I'll keep you posted if anything else exciting happens. All right, little update for you guys. I think I got the finisher dialed in where I'm not pulling up too much moisture while still leveling the ground off, incorporating the fertilizer in and the bean stubble, while also taking a good whack at that first weeds, which right in this field is pretty clean, just a little bit of grass. On further note, we are on the last pass of this field. It's about nine acres. As we approach up here, you'll see I'm gonna have to leave a little bit I've gotten pretty dicey and got pretty close but if I get any closer I think I'm going to be calling somebody to pull out a tractor because it's getting a little a little too hairy so we'll just let it go maybe tomorrow I can get a little closer if the wind dries this ground up which it's supposed to be fairly windy the next couple days Maybe I can get close enough where I can get that cracked open and get it drying out. Or I might not be able to plant that little bit this year. So what I've been doing on these wet spots where I know the springs are is I'm just floating the finisher up just enough. So the wheels sink all on their own. Don't really need to work any depth into it. I'm just raising the finisher as I go, as I feel it start to bog the tractor, because the only thing I'm gonna do there is start digging to China. And we don't need to do that, because that will also end up in a tractor stuck so deep that it's not good. One little cleanup pass I wanna do here, and then on to the next field. All right, I put you guys down for the first round. Didn't want to run into any surprises. Some of them you can see. Lift the disc up. Finisher, my bad. No sense pulling up any extra moisture just to spin out and leave more ruts. So you just pick it up in the wet spots, work through them the best you can. The planter might be able to flow through them, but this big beast and my 15 foot finisher back there may not look big but it weighs a lot and you get that sucker in the mud and she will sink and spin you out so I'm just gonna keep going round and round picking up where I have to do what we can 
see what the wind does tonight and tomorrow. Maybe we'll be planting tomorrow. Maybe we won't. Just scratching the surface a little bit, trying to crack it open. Gotta love four wheel drive though. Little tidbit. I don't have four wheel drive on the planter tractor, so you get that stuck, not good. on day two, I can lose the GoPro and see if I still have a wife if I do lose the GoPro. Ah, she'll be alright. Hold on. that I get to dig out of there. That's why I save risking getting stuck and mudding up the baskets real bad till the end. That's why I hit those wet spots. One reason I really wanted to get in there, I know I'm not gonna plant in there tomorrow, it'll be way too wet, but the other day I took the side by side and went up and down the waterway, or the field where there should be a waterway and those would have created some giant ruts 
get some rain this spring this summer they'd just be real deep ditches so i wanted to get those closed in even if they're mudded in and i can't plant it at least it won't erode until hopefully this fall maybe it'll be dry enough and i can get in there and put a waterway in there like there should be until tomorrow peace